This video is going to look at how you convert a video file using Handbrake. And some of the video files are in the wrong format. A .avi video file that is not going to play on a iPad or an iPhone or many other mobile devices. It needs to be converted to MP4. So if you haven't got Handbrake, go to handbrake.fr and download the appropriate version for your system and install it. So to open a file, go to source and then locate a file that you want to convert. Now I've got a few here that I want to convert. This one is a .avi file that I downloaded from the internet and it won't play on my Apple TV so I need to convert that to an Apple TV format or something that's compatible with that. With that as well as make sure that the size is optimized so it's small without compromising any quality. Now I've got a, a, a 1080p video here that I want to convert to a 720p video. And I've got some uh, rips here. This one's also been ripped from a DVD and it's the right format, but it's too big. So I really want to reduce that file size without compromising any quality. So let's just start with opening this one. So here's the, the, the source file that's been opened. And it also gives you a destination. So you have to decide where do you want the finished file to be stored. And it's uh, by default going to your desktop and then it's picked up where the actual source is so that's a bit, a bit long for me so I'm going to go to a different destination so I've created a, a folder and create and selecting this folder which I've just created just for this purpose save that and so my folder has now been changed to videos resized and converted and here's the the title of the video and I don't need to rename that because I'm putting it into a different folder. So select your destination, create a new folder or put it into an existing folder. And I want to create, a, I want to convert this file to an MP4 so that it will play on an Apple TV or an iPad or an iPhone or a computer or an Android tablet. You need to select the format, so select the MP4 and the codec, and H.264 is going to play on all modern mobile devices. You only have a couple of choices. I want it web optimized, which will reduce the file size. I'm going to change the audio to 128 bits. Going into the advanced panel reference frames to 4 back in the video change the frame rate to same as source constant frame rate and change that to about 21 and once I'm happy with all those settings start and you can see at the bottom the file is now converting and three minutes estimated time three minutes and that will depend on your system and how much RAM you've got so let's pause for the moment and come back when that's finished click OK once it's finished converting and then go and look for your files there's the file and it's now an M4V file gives you the size and I can now play that file in any mobile device Apple or Android now if I wanted to add this to iTunes let's open iTunes and go back to the original so the AVI file if I was going to drag that into iTunes cannot be added to iTunes because that format is incompatible with Apple devices so I can drop it drag it and it just won't be added whereas now I've converted it I can drag that in to iTunes. Now there's a little green plus and drop that and it will be added to my library. You can see it being added there. 
can add my tags and add it to my media library. So let's look at another one. I have a, a, a fairly large file. So go back to Handbrake. I go back to Source and I want to make this file a bit smaller. This file is a 1080p video and it's just a bit big for my iPhone which is an older iPhone and an iPod touch so I want to convert it down to a 720 you can see it's settings down here it's 1920 by 1080 and it's far too big for what I want to play it on so to convert that I can pick a preset but I'd rather just do it myself so I go to picture settings show picture settings and then I can change it up here I want the width to be 1280 by 720 and no need to change anything else and then you can preview it also and see what it's going to look like click there to do a live preview and you can see up the top here here's the source 1920 by 1080 the output is going to be 1280 by 720 so it's 83% of the actual size it's still HD and then again your destination so I'm going to put it back into this um, new folder and I'm not going to touch anything else in the settings and then just start and it's going to transcode that one to a smaller size okay when it's converted and let's just go and have a look at the size of it now so this is the resize one it's 1280 by 720 and the original and here's the original just paste it back in so there's the original 1920 by 1080 74 meg and the resized it's half the file size also and it's also smaller and with no real noticeable difference on a, on a mobile device when you play it back except the file size is smaller which in some cases is what you need so that's all for this video